What's up? This is Ken Billions, and this is my philosophies, and these are my opinions. So before I get into what I want to talk about, let me get this out the way early. Message to the black man, Nobu Ali, the House of Consciousness, Francis Cress Wilson, Umar Johnson, Amos Wilson, Blueprint the Black Power, Yahweh Ben Yahweh, uh, School to Prison Pipeline, uh, Breeding Farms, Hidden Colors. I can go down the entire list of black conscious thought. France Fanon. I mean, you name the black scholar, I studied them. Ashwa Kwesi, Leonard Jeffries, James Smalls, Queen Afua, Yorugu. You name the, the black scholar, I studied them. From popular academia to sub groups to little fringe parts of the conscious community. Bobby Emmett, Phil Valentine, Brother Panic. You name the person, I study them. Okay? There's not an issue that has happened in black America that I'm unaware of. From Flint, Michigan to the move bombing. Uh, Mumia being on death row. You name it, I studied it. I spent many years uh, diving head first into conscious black thought from the Black Panther Party, Liberation Army. I mean, you name it. It's important that I put that on the table because oftentimes when people hear you talk, you know, especially if they're new to information and they don't agree with what you're saying, they tell you, yo, you need to do your research. What, like Chancellor Williams, like that, stuff like that? You know, Pascal Beverly Randolph? Like, what, what would I need to do my research on in terms of black American intellectualism, Booker T. Washington, Washington W.E.B. Du Bois? You know, I have my stages, okay? I had to put that on the table because what I'm about to say, you might think that I am an agent or what else? A, a coon or um, a tether, <laughs> whatever the language that y'all using to describe people that you disagree with. Bro, I'm not your brother, right? Not your brother. We're not fam. I don't owe you nothing. You don't owe me nothing. Right? You can be checked and you can be challenged. There's this narrative that white man evil, black man good. Right? Whenever the black man is underperforming or acting out of pocket, first off, what aboutism comes into play? Y'all don't keep that same energy when the white man does it, right? Immediately, what aboutism gets put on the floor, gets put on the wood? Well, 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 what about this and what about that, right? When the, these black celebrities put themselves in stupid ass compromising positions, it's always. You're just trying to tear down a black man. And then it's, you're just trying to tear down a good black man. You can't question LeBron and what he did with Bronny. You know why? Because he's a good black man on, on the surface image, right? We don't know. You can't say nothing about Bill Cosby. You can't say nothing about R. Kelly. You can't critique a black man because of the narrative on the books about the struggles of the black male. The black male has been through so much in terms of his experience in America. Therefore, you can't say nothing because if you do, you are just trying to tear down a black man. There is this weird policing or like, like internal affairs. You know how police have to investigate each other internal affairs has to investigate each other that's how it is with black men 
where you can be straight up not shit, where you can underperform, you should be able to have the lane to do whatever you want. And if somebody challenges that, if somebody pushes back on that, then you're tearing down a good black man, especially if he's a celebrity black man, because for some reason, the collective thinks that the rich black man, the famous black man, the athlete, the actor, the rapper, the entertainer, the masses think that these black men are going to help the collective lift themselves up by the bootstraps. So even when they act out of pocket, turn your head because we need to leave him in that position because one day he might be Moses for us. He might part the Red Sea for us. So in the meantime, let this individual have problematic imagery. Let the individual talk crazy. Let the individual be a bad role model to your children because we need more black people that are at the top of the social ladder, you know, cause one day, right? One day they might come back for us. Don't critique Umar Johnson because he's a black man trying to do something. And the bar is in hell because if you critique Umar, then the, the response will be, he could be, he could be robbing. He could be doing something illegal. So we might as well support it because look what he could be doing. <laughs> this guy is supposed to do a school. No school done. And it's been forever. But he's a black man. And he goes on Breakfast Club. And he puts these black issues on the table. But it's nothing but information. You can't do nothing with it. But he's a good black man. You can't tear down the black man. It's not just Umar. It's everybody. The black male don't have to show up whatsoever. You got things like Project 2025. People are scared shitless, right? People are terrified. Okay. Which NBA player, which rapper, J Prince, powerful black men, what are they going to do about that problem? What effects is that going to have on black women and children, black boys, black girls, elders? How is that going to affect Atlanta, Philly, Jacksonville, Houston, the Bay, LA, Chicago? Detroit, Milwaukee, black cities. How is their lives going to change? How uncomfortable is it going to make these grannies? What kind of harm will it cause these babies? When you have things that are on the wood like that, right? And your millionaires your influential people, your, your blue check black male celebrities say nothing, do nothing. <laughs> but you support them? Nah, those ain't my bros. And check it, I'm not saying they have to do anything because they don't. Them niggas don't owe me a dime. They don't owe me an explanation, anything. However, when something happens to them though, I turn my head though. You got this dog. You got lawyers, right? You you sign the record companies. You use your influence to get yourself out the jam. Don't go to the people looking for support. You know what I'm saying? So when I see a Bill Cosby or I see a R. Kelly or I see a black man in a 
tight situation, dog, get yourself out of it. Like I got myself out of it. And when I've bumped my head and when I've done questionable things to put myself in, in, in bad situation, I didn't run to black people to bail me out. I didn't put it on black women, right? I didn't put it on the so-called community to help me get out my situation. I dealt with it because my bad decisions put me in, in that. Because guess what? Black women don't owe me nothing. Nothing. They don't owe me a smile. They don't owe me no sex. They don't owe me support. None of that. They can date who they want. They can do whatever. Right? Because guess what? When I was doing me, shit, it was the same way. When I was running it up, when I was copping my cars, when I was taking my vacation, guess what? It was black women that, that was face first out on the street fucked up so when she get her time to shine she don't owe me right just like i was doing me i looked the other way she don't owe me homeboy don't owe me that's how i'm looking at the game right because i am under no illusions of what this is i i understand the finesse and there's this weird relationship that white man evil automatically a liar black man automatically divine and righteous and tells the truth nah man nah i ain't going because everybody's a op there is no born righteous because that's a black male child guess what Black men lie, right? Black men steal, black men rob. Everything that I was taught that the white man does, that is also in the black man. We like to pretend it's not though, right? We like to pretend that all the dirt that is being done in the world is from the European, right? We like to pretend that, you know what? These these melanated people was just in so much harmony and then the portuguese and the spanish and the dutch and the british rolled up on these people just minding their business never doing anything and just started fucking with them we like to pretend that the arabs came and got these africans and put them in slavery and all we were doing was knitting and singing songs the white man is always on trial always on trial right always on trial you can't put that black man on trial though from a historical perspective either right what were black men thousands of years ago doing in order for asian male arab male european male indian male the, na- the other group's males, for them to be the leaders of infrastructure, what kind of ball did the black man drop 2,000, 5,000, 10,000 years ago? What were we doing? How does this happen? Especially if you tell me that the black man is the original man on the planet. Okay, cool then how do you get a situation like this where the black male is underneath every male? Oh, my bad. I'm not allowed to say that because then I will be tearing down a black man at this stage and at this point in the world and life. You either real or you not. You either keep your word or you don't. You either solid or you not. You either know or you don't. You either got it like that or you don't. There is no born righteous, born evil, right? Because this, all these seeds exist in all of them, right? Whatever you see the white man do, I got the potential to do the same thing. Absolute power corrupts absolutely. How do I know what, what I, I would do as the president, as the senator? I don't know. I never had the position. 
I never had 30, 50 million dollars. I don't know what I would do. I don't know what my behavior would be like. So to keep the white man on trial while giving up black sons, black males, black men, black elders a pass. See, the white man don't get a pass. Whenever he's evil, we say that's his nature. Whenever the black male is upside down, oh, that's because of poverty. Right? Oh, that's because he comes from a single parent household. See, the white man, whatever he does, is just because that's who he is, right? But whenever the black man underperforms, that whenever the black man has mental issues, whenever the black man has problems, oh, there's a reason for that. Nah, man. Nah. You, I might give a person a little grace because things that happen in our childhood does shape who we are as adults for sure but as a grown adult nah man right because guess what i've seen kindness in a white man i've seen righteousness in a white man and i've seen cute uh, uh, uh philanthropy in a white man i've seen altruism in a white man right and I've also seen bigotry. I've also seen a lack of humanity, right? And I've seen the same thing in a black man. But we need to get to a point where, A, just because I'm checking you and I'm challenging you, I'm not tearing you down. You're doing something incorrect. You are out of pocket. How can the black man continuously go on podcasts continuously put a camera in his face and try to hold black women accountable and put black women on trial when the black man can't be checked the black man is saying we're leaders we're leaders okay lead by example so if the black woman is incorrect if the black woman is out of pocket, if the black woman is ratchet, and we got a degenerate culture, and she's teaching the children all these negative behaviors, is it possible that they get it from the men? Since we say that we're the leaders, I mean, that would make sense, right? Wouldn't the followers emulate the leader, right? Or no? This is what y'all say. The woman is naturally submissive y'all say that the woman is a, a weaker vessel y'all say that the man came first and it was divinely ordained by the creator that man is a provider and a protector okay this is what y'all say this is what y'all believe cool are women looking at this are they watching okay so is it possible that for women to have if women have destructive behavior if women have upside down thinking is it possible she got it from looking at guys or no what if ain't no one tearing you down what if you're just wrong what if the information you have in your head ain't right what if your behavior doesn't benefit anybody. What if you are the weakest link?